For more on this, I'm joined now by our international affairs editor, Philip Turl. Philip, now, uh, this wasn't part of Theresa May's original plan, but tomorrow, Thursday, British voters will be electing uh, members of the European Parliament. And uh, the Brexit party, led by Nigel Farage, a very young party, is expected to come out on top. That is true. And uh, if you look at what has been going on in the House of Commons over the past few months, this deal of Theresa May having been rejected three times and uh, possibly facing a fourth uh, rejection uh, at the beginning of June, you don't have to look very far to understand why Nigel Farage's Brexit party has been doing so well. Uh, he is a very uh, clever, wily politician. You may remember that he was the one who created the uh, UKIP party, which was one of the uh, uh, key uh, parties uh, in favour of Britain leaving the EU and behind the result, the uh, victory result in the uh, June 2016 uh, election uh, referendum campaign. Uh, and since then, he's created this new Brexit party. If you listen to what uh, Nigel Farage says, uh, he is very clever in uh, putting the blame on, on politicians in the UK. And that means that they are turning their backs on the traditional parties. So if you look at the opinion polls for tomorrow, it's disastrous for the Conservatives. They're on 7 per cent. That's according to a YouGov poll. 19 per cent for the Labour Party of Jeremy Corbyn and 37 per cent uh, for the Brexit Party of Nigel Farage. And uh, he is saying, basically, people are voting for me because they are fed up with the inability of the traditional parties in the UK to come up with a solution and give the British people the Brexit they voted for. Tell us more about why the Brexit party is doing so well. Well, if, if you look at how uh, Nigel Farage is organising his party, uh, he spent a lot of time in the United States uh, observing Donald Trump, for example. And the key issue now is not immigration, which is the key uh, issue when it came to the referendum of 2016, the key issue of uh, UKIP, for example, and giving back uh, Britain its uh, its sovereignty, its role, its uh, greatness. Uh, the key issue now is it's the Brexit party against the traditional establishment. Nigel Farage doesn't really mention immigration anymore. What he says is, we have been denied democracy. The prime minister, government, MPs, the media, journalists, institutions, they haven't given you what you voted for. They are denying you the democracy that you want. I am the one to give you back that democracy. I'm going to give you the Brexit you voted for. And whereas a no deal was something that wasn't even talked about, that is the key issue that he is now putting forward, saying we're going to go on the 29th or the 31st of uh, uh, October and we're going to leave on WTO terms. And that is why I think uh, the Brexit Party is doing so well in the polls. All right. Thank you very much, Philip.